brothers welcome back to territorial.io we are starting off today here in a 59 player free-for-all battle yeah oh this isn't looking like a good spot i'm out i'm going to south america best of luck everyone ah i hate that you're here okay well we'll try to make the best of this spot this guy's got a decent spot if he can take advantage of it maybe we go down south and compete no 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 we'll stay where we are yeah yeah especially that that guy left the one that was below us moved over to the left of us that's huge that's a great opportunity did I even say what we're doing? 57 player free for all battle. I think there's full sending. I don't actually remember. Oh gosh, it's all downhill from here. Anyways, let's go ahead and focus up on what we got. We got player 900 over to the left of us. One, two, three to the northwest of us. And then I think free real estate all the way down till we get to Turkey. So we need to be pretty aggressive in our overall beginning strategy. If there's an opportunity to full send early or begin our infinite growth phase early, which I'm gonna do right now, just by a tad bit. Let's go ahead and see if we can squeeze on down through these bots. I probably should have started it even a little bit earlier considering that I don't have big borders on players, but right now the focus needs to be on encapsulating bots behind me and pushing out. So we'll go ahead and start that process. As many bots as we can get behind us, that's the goal. Let's grab this and go into you. Ah, you got all your troops back just in time for me to attack. Well, Leaf though, Leaf's a good target. We'll go here and just not worry about these bots behind us again because we're just trying to compete for land that other people can get. It's going to take a long time for anybody to be able to boat over here. So we don't need to be. Wow. 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 Um, yeah. My land. Is that how that's going to work? Yeah. Everybody's in on it. Okay. Let's keep going. Yes. Okay. He, I think he full sent. So we'll grab. We'll just keep fighting for his land. Grab this land behind us. And boom. We're the strongest player on this continent by far. We get the crown. So hopefully we get the chance to be able to build up from here. We don't have any alliances with anybody. And nobody's offered it. Now, fortunately, uh, Jokic. Jo Jovic. Oh my gosh, I'm a, I'm a freaking uh, Denver Nuggets fan. I can't even say the name. Uh, anyways, he's the star for the Denver Nuggets basketball team. Um, we, I just call him the Joker, though. So does everybody else because his name's kind of hard to pronounce. Anyways, we'll go ahead and grab the rest of this land, move ourselves into first position again, and we'll, we'll take this truce up with this guy. Now it's just about building up. There's no real good opportunity to boat over here. Mm, maybe. Let's just uh, see if anybody notices if we grab a low island. Just be real casual. Maybe an island up here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. So now we'll just build up troops from here, wait for our big interest to come in, and hopefully be able to make some moves. Now, if our pushing into Africa is really going to depend on our ability to take advantage of some drama. Right now, there's not a good opportunity to go on anybody because they're all kind of sitting together, not really doing a lot. Romania will eventually become a very small player. And maybe this guy as well. I imagine 198, if he's able to kind of secure his borders and be very peaceful for the time being, is going to do rather well. Is this free land? Romania has boated over here. Ooh, that's an interesting move. How many troops do you have? Not a lot. I think we keep saving. You get the crown. Who's got the crown? Coalition forces and you are switching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the drama I want to take advantage of. Let's go ahead and push into this. Let's, oh, you full sit. Gosh. Okay, we're not going to get too much of that land. Let's go down here. Grab some of this down here in Africa. Keep going. We're not going to get to 60,000, so we're only going to get a sliver. This guy's going to keep attacking if he wants to outpace me. I'm not going to stop attacking. So we have a good opportunity to go into the crown. Let's try and get a truce with this guy. And maybe we push into him. We have double his troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just give big attacks. Yeah, Romania's in on it too. Huge, huge ups, huge ups. Big risk, big risk for sure. But now I think people are smelling blood in the water. So we can get a lot of this land. He went way too greedily in attacking down south where you should have held for a little bit longer but no it didn't work out for him romania is getting attacked by texas i think and maybe Rusland. now we need to be a little bit cautious that the same thing doesn't happen to us so i'm gonna oh good he left i'm gonna be cautious with my attacks because my max or my red interest is about seven million troops so i do want to be making sure to not go too heavily but ussr is another very weak target oh, i wish we had seven million because we could easily go into them go ahead and grab the rest of this land over here and just patiently wait uh, Romania is getting attacked, so I think he's going to try and have to deal with those guys, which means that our alliance with him is probably null and void at this point. I think we just push into this guy aggressively. If we can take out another very strong player very early on, I think we have a good chance of winning this. Now, I'm very worried about you sharing borders with me. I think Romania is at this point kind of yielding land. You gave a big attack. Keep going, I guess. Okay, my turn. There we go. And we go right back. We go again. Yes! We have so many troops, we can definitely get this done. Uh, Turkey, did we ever have a truce or did you betray it? USSR is attacking me again. He's only got a million troops. And yeah, even even this small player is getting involved. He smells the blood. 
we'll take a truce with you we do need a little bit of time to build up but taking out a giant player like this is definitely the way to go from here so now we just continue to wait i'm going to kick texas off here though i don't want him on my borders and there we go let's keep going coalition forces wants to attack player 88 or uh yeah player 88 i'll take a truce with you for sure but uh i think i want to go into this guy let's just expand our borders as much as possible they got some very weak players right away romanians fighting ruslan for me so that's distracting two players all at once that's working out great you're sending a boat up which i don't appreciate i see the boat let's grab this land too grab your land and knock you off and we'll be prepared to knock off hut again as soon as he starts to come over i don't want to get engaged with player 88 until this guy's off my borders so I think we just kind of wait until this boat touches down, and then we kick him off right away. He's sitting at max cap, so he's going to be really aggressive probably with the push. And we got him off. Yep, saw it. Okay. Let's, um, let's go into you. Let's go ahead and grab this free land up here. Go around our Romanian buddy. Go into Texas, who's rather weak. He'll probably boom us. I'm not that concerned with it. We have a lot of opportunity to grab North America and limit our borders. This is the only player that really has a, a threat to us, player 88, that is and you have not sent another boat in a while so that's good we'll just continue to keep pushing up here citizen free press is a free real estate at this point we have very much secured our victory so far now there is a chance we can still lose because we're not that far ahead of everybody but this is a great starting point for us to kind of really cement our place in the world let's go ahead and grab this and move our way up into greenland grabbing all these little small valuable islands along the way citizen free press has left the game and become a bot so no issue there not like there would be and we get all that free land wonderful now you are sending another boat up no okay so i think we push into this guy now he's the the last big threat we have on the board if we can get him out of the way it's gonna be smooth sailing from here now technically the rest of the world could betray us and we would still lose but that would involve this man being on an i being able to attack me now the beauty thing the beautiful thing about the world is just being able to limit your borders in that fashion so player 988 is asking for a truce. I don't even know where that man is, so I'm just going to completely ignore him. And just continue to keep pushing over here. And then into coalition forces, kind of betraying our friendship as well. So we'll take this man down. Romania and Turkey have been my friends from the beginning, so I'll definitely keep them around. And we'll start to move down south and grow, go into this guy who uh, voted into me. I don't think I forgot. Here he comes again. Hi. I see your boat. I'm coming to you. Don't worry. I'll just knock you off. Yep, there you go. You're already gone. We got a couple boats coming to him. Now, I'm going to keep this boat on uh, Australia present, so it's harder for him to kick me off down here. He is attacking me somewhere else. Has he boated? No, no, no. Maybe that was old. Let's give a little bit more of an attack. A slightly bigger beachhead. Yeah, now he's going to be forever unable to kick us off. And he's going to desperately be trying, but now that we have this beachhead, this beachhead down here is not going to be able to be kicked off. The reason why is he has to account for both borders when he attacks, so we'll just do that and stop that attack there you go oh he full it okay well we'll go ahead and grab the rest of his land down here and that will be the end of him go ahead and grab this little bit over here as well not sure where that belongs to this person has just been boating oh coalition forces who is this player going very aggressively uh no way to tell okay well that is perfect for us is uh that will do it i mean we've made good friends over here that Romanian one was really helpful in taking out that player in Africa. Just again, that sneaky boat play always works out. Just having options played out into a great effect, even though it looked like we weren't going to get a tunnel land. The crown very much over attacked. Unfortunately, we had a good ally in Romania. So we'll give the claps a good sportsmanship. We'll signal that we're looking for a piece and we'll give the kissy face for the boys. There we go. And we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so we joined a 1v1 teams here in Europe. And the reason why I did this was it was a contest. And I was just honestly very curious to see how it would go about. Let's go up here. It does seem to be like there's a good contention of players on our team over here that we can potentially support and help push out. Now, if this was a Corgi gang, I would just random spawn and go wherever because overwhelming numbers. But with this one, I want to be a little bit more smart in helping out the team and making sure that we can potentially take over a section of the map and then be able to push out. That's really the strategy in these games. Is making sure to be able to take out a, take over a certain region while also limiting your uh, opponent's ability to do so so a few players down in africa hopefully they can hold the line i i think that's kind of where the red bastion of power is now there is a lot of players on the red team over here in scandinavia so hopefully our teammates over here are rather strong this is actually looking like we're heavily outnumbered over here Ooh, that's unfortunate now we do have a lot of numbers over here so hopefully we can count on some donations on that front i'm going to go ahead and early full send here 
grab a little bit more land away from Union. And now the unfortunate thing about this is that you're so much limited by your bots. So we'll go ahead and grab this and we'll let the Tectonic Order push his way through if he can. Yeah, he's going to be able to. So he'll be able to help us out with this player over here. That's at least the strategy. Now we just kind of wait to see how it goes in practice. And you are going very aggressively. I don't like the fact that you're able to do that. Looks like he's getting some donations from this guy back here. Dokiville is not very strong. That's pretty scary. Hopefully we can get some borders built up. I don't know. Does look like our team has solidified this section on the map very well. Yeah, the black team and the red teams have kind of split. We're very much in the middle, which is a little bit scary. There's a strong showing of elite players over here that I'm kind of hoping gets taken out rather quickly. Let's go into this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me all your land. Let's push into him. Be aggressive. Hopefully our tectonic order will be able to kind of slow down this guy. Let's grab your land. That's for free. Push into you. Keep knocking you down. Oh, we go. We go. We go. Oh, he has. He, he fooled me. He fooled me. He doesn't. He has more troops than that. So Android user is pretty strong. We're not getting any donations from our team, which is fine for right now. We go here and we push. And hopefully this man yields us the land as we could be very much benefit from it. We're the sixth strongest player. I think we're one of the strongest in this area. Here comes a boat. Knock it off immediately. There you go. And now we just continue to hold here for a little bit. Trying to build up lands. Kazakhstan's desperately trying to get over here. So we're going to keep denying him of that. Building up our troops. Hopefully somebody donates to me. This guy. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Just stop. Just stop. Can I boat? No, I don't have that border. Come on. Give me a little border. Go. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Now we can grab a ton of land over here. Now it will give us 2v1 borders, which is a little bit on the scary side. 3v1s if you're counting this man. So I'm going to stop this attack a little bit before we touch board. Oh, the bot went away. Very unfortunate development there. Uh, we do have somebody boating over. That's interesting. So uh, Tectonic Order wants to attack this guy. I think this is a play. I think this needs to be a play. We're getting attacked by Kazakhstan. Yep, that's to be expected. Serbia... Serbia doesn't have borders on this man. Can anybody give me money? Hey, give me money, please. I need I need money. To hold the line. Let's push against you. Just slow you down a little bit. Prevent you from building up. This guy's going into my weak teammate. No one's donating to me. Very scary proposition that we're in. We do have a very strong teammate coming up through here, though, grabbing a bunch of land. So hopefully we can just kind of hold the line. This guy's going to have a heck of a time oh my gosh give me borders he's just taking out so many players i need i need void to get borders he's kind of stuck at this point but i don't want him to go any further so i'm just going to keep on pressing him giving him a little bit of a harder time uh these guys are all kind of saving up their borders looks like they're diving into og over there which is respectable they're helping out their clan i understand and at some point, this man's reign of terror is going to end, but I, I could very much use money. Let's try and signal, hey, guys, money over here would be very appreciated. I'm trying to slow down this guy from just wiping through the rest of our team. And this could be a real bad problem if I don't get any support. We got 247 resources. Thank you. <laughs> Not 247,000, 247. That's going to be very helpful. Well, we're finally starting to get some pressure on this guy. He's slowing him down ever so slightly. I think the rest of the team's finally in a position to kind of help you oh yeah if he got back here that would be bad news bears so we de definitely need to keep up the pressure and keep going from here we are third strongest in the world so it's not like we're asking for charity we are very much an investment at this point an investment that i'm hoping someone gives me money for because i'm chasing this guy all the way back through our lands how much troops does he have left okay i think this is it i think that's the end of him this guy full sent so let's grab his land and now we have secured the back line, which is good, and so saved some of our teammates. Unfortunately, we're very much facing a big threat in Kazakhstan, which we cannot help out. Fortunately, OG is coming up. He doesn't... Oh, he does have enough troops. Okay, good. So we'll just be a stopgate to this guy over here. Wait for our crown to get up here and kind of help us out. We are getting a few troops, and now I think we can start beginning our counterattack. So let's start going into this guy. And here comes the, here comes the reinforcements. Yeah, he's going to probably full send us at this point. Yes, thank you so much, brother big hearts to you <laughs> oh see this is kind of the, the fun part is of these um uh, of these big battles and two 1v1s is you know we weren't the champions but we played a part we played a crucial part and that's a very fun part of the game now it's just sending 
troops down to let me live to help take out Merc. Yeah, we got that up there. So I'm going to save up to my red interest to start donating more effectively. And I actually don't think he needs it at this point, so I'll just give him it earlier. Go get him, brother. Yeah, that's going to be the end of it. Oh, goodness. Okay. So a little bit of a, a nail biter right there. Putin did not donate. Neither did ET. Those are That is a very bad thing to do in a position like this is you need to be able to donate at least to somebody. I think he finally donated to this guy, but ET's just been sitting on his troops the whole time. But GG's to all involved. And as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this far in the episode. If you haven't made this far in the episode, hey, you give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.